Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, yesterday we started a new series. In this series, we're talking about the subject of makeshift. Makeshifting, if there is such a thing. <laughs> You're going to hear that a lot in the next uh, few episodes. We're going to be talking about makeshifting. But that's well, that word doesn't really exist. But who cares? We are communicating. I, I'm sure you get what I'm saying. I'm talking about the five advantages of a makeshift strategy that will ele- elevate you above waiters. We started talking about that yesterday. And we're going to continue talking about that today. And we're going to look at the advantages and, and, and so on and so forth. Makeshift strategies. Some guy in the startup world wrote a book called The Lean Startup. When he was talking about the lean startup, startup, he was explaining the idea that don't wait until it's perfect. If you wait until it's perfect, you've waited too long. Just start, ship, and then reiterate. I mean, um, not reiterate. Uh, do additions, several additions. You know, keep doing additions and additions until it's perfect. Today, let us talk more about this makeshift strategy that I'm talking about in this episode. Stay tuned. <music> Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. The guys who understand this makeshift ideas much more than we do are soldiers. Soldiers who go to excursions and go for adventures and, and, and so on. They are sent to a different country altogether and they find themselves in a place where they, they know for sure that they are not here to stay. They are here to do a job and then they come back. And they apply a lot of makeshifting in their deployment the tents are makeshift houses, right? In fact, by the way, do you, do you, did you notice that our housing has always been makeshift since time immemorial? And it's developed from there and there and then and then it becomes something that is better than what, than, than what it, it, it was initially. But it was a makeshift strategy to begin with. Houses were makeshift. So soldiers go there and they get a tent and they find, find tents and they build tents and those tents are makeshift houses they have makeshift utensils they have makeshift food if if, if you get my, my 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 drift listen to this the first flight this fast flight today we have supersonic flights we have lear jets we have personal jets we have jumbo jets we have commercial airlines but the first flight was not complete the first flight was makeshift to say the least it was makeshift. You should look at it. Just go to Google and Google the first flight. I tell you, you will not want to board that thing that is going to take you from one point A to point B. You will not want it. But it, it's, the, it's the mother, it's the root. Without that makeshift flight, we will not be flying. Today, I'm able to eat my breakfast in Kampala and I can eat my brunch just before lunch in Nairobi and I can eat my uh, lunch in Kigali and then if I want I can eat my supper in Accra I tell ya why it's because someone somewhere started flight in a makeshift way the same things that we see around us makeshift approach was used and it was improved upon. 
were able to fly to the moon. In fact, by the way, the first try to fly to the moon used a makeshift approach and improved upon it until they got it right. The list is endless. The first bottle of Coke, the first iPhone, the first personal computer, the first telephone, and so on. It was always, they were always, the first um, designer suits. <laughs> I mean, just mention anything. The first lotion, the first perfume. All these things were makeshift. Some, some, some of them were actually accidental in development. We can always get better and that is what uh, that's the very reason as to why we need to get started getting started is much more important okay i know there are some instances where you've got to really prepare you've got to really research you've got to really have information in place and you've got to really put your best foot forward before you get started there are some instances but sometimes we get paralyzed with our analysis. We call it analysis paralysis or paralysis analysis. And we don't get started. Getting started introduces you to the world of makeshifting. So you get to start with your book. If you look at my first blog, my first blog article, my first podcast, all those things you could say they were literally makeshifts, so to speak. Starting doesn't guarantee perfection it is iteration continuity consistency momentum that guarantees the perfection good better best do not let it rest until the good is better and the better is best therefore i'm introducing to you the idea of doing things makeshift getting started in this world there are people i call waiters they are not the traditional waiters that wait on you in a restaurant or in a motel or whatever waiters are people who are waiting for opportunities and they are waiting for things to align themselves for things to be perfect before they can take action before they can act these waiters will always be overtaken by guys who are makeshifting you are sitting there waiting for a perfect house someone has already started makeshifting you're waiting for a perfect written code someone is already makeshifting and you normally see this makeshift things in the streets there's a time i wanted to do a magazine complete the title of the magazine i i, I was going to call it god's generals and i had an idea of interviewing uh, god's people pastors prophets evangelists whatever those guys who are in the in the in the work of ministry so to speak and just showcase their stories and add other things in the magazine i didn't start because i felt overwhelmed by it three months down the line i was walking around nairobi in the streets i'd been walking in the streets in nairobi for some time i never seen that magazine before but i saw a makeshift magazine of the same title that i had an idea about and that's why you see people going out there screaming hey, they stole my idea they stole my idea they are thieves they didn't steal nobody's idea that is in fact their idea because they are the first ones to make shift it what are you doing with an idea that you've not make shifted you're going to excuse my english today because there's no word make shifting there's no word make shifted but you know what i'm communicating here what are you doing with an idea that you've not make shifted it is not your idea make shift it right start doing and when you make shift when you're make shifting you're not talking about bells and whistles you're not talking about the 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 finesse of the color you're talking about functionality and i know i'm a stickler for excellence i'm a stickler for things being fine but that should not stop you from make shifting that should not stop you some of you have very brilliant ideas for video uh, vlogs you have very b- brilliant ideas for podcasts you haven't started 
because you're waiting for perfection. You're waiting until you're going to buy a Rodecaster Pro, right? You're waiting until you go, you're going to have, um, what do they call it, a studio that is already uh, soundproofed. You can hear there's a, a, a goat bleating in the background of my podcast. It's been bleating all along. There it goes. This is makeshifting. And yet I'm on episode number 1,300 and something. I am makeshifting still. Imagine if I waited until I get a, a studio. I don't have a studio. And yet people have been blessed by this podcast. They are writing to me. When I don't podcast, when I don't share, they are asking, where is it? I am makeshifting, ladies and gentlemen. We can always get better. And that is why every person has a reason to get started. The idea of waiting for perfection before we launch has seen very, very, very many people get disillusioned and actually get apathy and actually curse the idea itself and kick it out of their minds altogether. And when they see people who are doing something to the semblance of what they are doing, they get totally discouraged because they never make shifted anyway. Now that you did not make shift, you don't have ownership. You don't have ownership of anything. You become a waiter. The ones who make shifted overtake you. It is for this reason that I think that if we adopted the makeshift strategy with our pursuits, we will be much better off than just sitting and waiting. And remember, this is my this is my quote, original with me. In life, quote, in life, motion is currency. And the thing that is going to give you motion, it is makeshifting. And I know that people will dispute that and the, they, 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 they will say this and they will say that, but the person who is using makeshift strategies to get going is far much better than the person who is waiting for all the bells and the whistles, for all the pomps and the polemics of this idea that they have to be in place before they get started to move. So we're going to look at the makeshift strategies and we, before we can even talk about the advantages of this makeshift strategies we're going to look at the first of all we're going to talk about the place for excellence because i know uh, excellence is needed uh, in our lives we should not sacrifice excellence when we're talking about this makeshift makeshifting makeshifting has its place but excellence also has its place we're going to talk about that then we're going to talk about how a makeshift looks like and then we're going to talk about the advantages in the succeeding episodes. Until then, bye bye. Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.